Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today, taking you all along for a day in our lives. All right, folks, today I will be taking you along for a typical day in the lives with us. Before we get any farther in today's video, though, I want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world. Its intuitive lessons help you learn a language through real life conversations. I've been using Babbel because I want to learn a language to speak to my mother-in-law. I chose French because I used to be pretty okay with French years back, and I know that it would be the easiest language that she spoke for me to pick up quickly. As you all know, one of my goals this year was to be able to converse with her better, and thanks to Babbel, I am well on my way. I chose Babbel because it is scientifically proven to help you speak a language in just three weeks. Babbel also offers a 20-day money-back guarantee. Now, y'all know I love to learn from books, but for language learning, this app is so much more helpful because I get to hear the pronunciation along with seeing the words, and I can hear my own pronunciation as I talk back with the app, and I can make adjustments to my speech as needed. It is so easy to carry the phone with me and use the app while I'm tidying up around the house or taking a short break from teaching. It makes learning a language so convenient. Ian. El. Allo, vous allo, vous. Allo, vous allez vous ce soir? I love vous allez. Now, y'all are probably wondering how to get this app for yourself. And of course, I have left all of the information for you in the description box and in my pinned comment below. So pop on down and click my link for 60% off your subscription. And while you're down there, drop me a note in the comment section and let me know which language you would learn and why. I would love to know. So let's get that conversation going. All right. And with that, let's get back to my day. Wow, can I just say that cutting down to one video a week has already made a massive difference in my life? Y'all, I'm getting through laundry. Like, I'm caught up on laundry. I don't even know what that means. And it might be some kind of magic that isn't going to last very long, but at least for the moment, I'm caught up on laundry and I'm blaming it on cutting down to one video a week. I just have time to get things done now and the stress levels are like way less. It's amazing. Okay, so thank you, by the way, everyone for your support with that decision. I really appreciate you guys so, so very much. Okay, today, weekday, day in the life. I'm going to be doing a little bit of Shabbat prep in this video though, because I went to bake some challah today. I baked yesterday, but I want to bake again today so I can just have like a whole bunch in the freezer and just be sort of caught up for a little while. And I wanted to make a side dish for Shabbat because it is close enough to Shabbat that I can get that done. Oh, this week, a lot going on this week, and that is okay. Um, what else is happening today? It's Tuesday, by the way, today's Tuesday. <laughs> um, so there is school, but one of my kids is feeling a little under the weather. We've had a cold passing through our house, and I think we're gonna be not doing a whole lot of school today because that kiddo is not feeling good. We'll do some stuff, like my other kids will still have school, and then we'll do like some family read-alouds and stuff like that. So like, we'll still have some stuff, um, just not like as much as we normally might for that. Can you get your socks on, buddy? Okay, um, we are about to head out to the vet this morning. Our dog just has like a quick little appointment with the vet tech. So we're gonna go do that. And so that's why everybody is up super duper early. I woke up at six, thankfully. I had my alarm set for 6.30. I, I generally never set an alarm, but I've been sleeping in lately with all of the sickness going through our house, with the colds going through our house. So I haven't been sleeping as well as I normally would have, but last night I slept really well. I was really intentional about going to bed early, sort of worked, but anyways, I woke up at six and I just was like, okay, instead of trying to go back to bed, I just like popped up. <laughs> you trying to be in the video? You trying to be in the video? Hey mom, is that good? Is to need bloopers? It might go in the main video even. Um, but, but, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so anyways, the kids are all up. 
messing with the camera, <laughs> and, uh, getting shoes on and things like that so that we can head out. What is our appointment? We need to leave in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna shut off the camera and we're gonna get out of here, take our sweet Bella to the vet and uh, go on about our day. <laughs> I like this early start. This is kind of fun. Okay, let's go do the things. Okay, we are back home. I'm sorry, I'm eating peanut butter cookies because they're on the counter and I like them. <laughs> a friend of ours baked them for us for Shabbat and I there's brought a ton. He brought a ton, so I am eating peanut butter cookies all day and it's fantastic. Okay, we got back from the vet. Obviously, we're back in the house now. And instead of diving into school, I'm gonna start baking the bread. So like I said, I wanted to bake bread today, so I wanna go ahead and get that going because baby Firefly is asleep. So this is a good opportunity to do that. It's also a good opportunity for me to chat with you guys for a second. I was like in a rush earlier, but I'm not now. Okay, let me show you guys the classroom. I got a little garden. Okay, forgive the horrible lighting back here because back here the lighting's all about these plants, not about me. So that is happening. Anyways. I got myself a little carnivorous garden. I'm so excited. We were at the nursery last week and I impulse bought a Venus flytrap because they're cool. And because my dad did that when we were kids. So I thought I'll do that now. And so I did and I brought it home, completely fell in love with it. And then we had to go and make a return at the nursery. I didn't have my receipt, so it had to be an exchange. So I bought another and this pitcher plant, which is another carnivorous plant. So now I have a little carnivorous garden and I had to buy a grow lamp for them because I want to keep them back here and they need sunlight. Did you guys know that the Venus flytrap is actually native to North America? I had no idea. I was like, what are you kidding me? They're native to like North Carolina or South Carolina or both of the Carolinas, but like in bogs along the coast. How do these not live in some kind of a rainforest? They don't, they live in bogs in the Carolinas. I was shocked. Now you too have this knowledge to own. <laughs> Anyways. I have a carnivorous plant garden and I love it. And I've already picked out my next plant, but I have to order it on the internet and I'm gonna wait. I told my husband it's gonna be my present for Bezos, so stay tuned for that one. Anyways, carnivorous plant garden totally makes me happy. I had no idea they would make me so happy, but they do. Okay, also I'm naming them. Uh, one of the Venus flytraps is Mr. Darcy, and I don't know the other two plants' names. I would love suggestions. I know the plant that I intend to purchase, I'm going to name Gatsby. So I'm kind of looking for like some sort of literary names, something from the classics. So if you have any suggestions for plant names, drop it down in the comments below and let me know. I would love to get some suggestions because I'm kind of drawing a blank. I've got Mr. Darcy, I've got Gatsby, who's I haven't bought yet, but I've already picked out Gatsby's name. And yeah, two more plants. I don't know what their names will be. So anyways, that is happening. Um, That's it, okay. That's the updates. I don't think I have any more updates. Yeah, that's it. The weather's beautiful today. It's a bummer that I've got a kid who's not feeling good, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, let's go bake some bread.
Okay, this has been an extremely productive morning. It is about 10.38. Well, exactly 10.38, it's not about 10.38. It is 10.38 in the morning and I'm getting stuff done. This is really great. Uh, I've been running around doing kind of houseworky sorts of things as you guys saw, just kind of getting through my list of cards. And while I have been doing that, the kids have been doing whatever school that they can do on their own, which is quite a bit of it today. Today is a day where I schedule most of the schoolwork that they can do on their own so that I can busy myself with other things. So at this point, what I think is left to be done is to dive back in to that challah and get that braided up so that it'll be ready to go into the oven. This is great. I am loving this. Can I help? Yes, you can help. I gotta say though, it is so gorgeous outside. I took the dog out a little bit ago and was playing with her in the backyard and checking on the garden and stuff, which is really just a pile of cardboard, but that's okay. And it's so beautiful outside. It's so beautiful outside. But with one of my kids feeling a little bit under the weather and another one like getting over the cold, I just don't feel like I can take us all to a park this afternoon. But that is okay. We are just going to stay here and hang out and that's okay too. I'm looking forward to reading time with the kids here in a bit. Um, maybe at lunch. Maybe I'll read to them at lunch. Speaking of lunch, uh, since it's like 10.38, huh? it's time for me to start thinking about lunch. I do have some chicken thawed out, so I was thinking about making like some fried chicken for the kids for lunch, but I this is like a Jewish dilemma, so this is why I'm bringing this up. <laughs> if we eat meat for lunch, then we're not eating dairy for six hours because after we eat meat, we wait six hours to have dairy. Now, this really isn't a huge issue because I have chocolate that is dairy free. I have cookies and brownies over here on the counter that are dairy free. It's not like I can't have a snack or a sweet or something like that after we eat meat for lunch. It's the coffee <laughs> because I put milk in my coffee and I don't wanna go without coffee all afternoon. So I'm gonna save the meat for dinner and make something else for lunch. So we'll have a simple lunch and I'll make a nicer dinner. Okay, you, you can help me with crawler, buddy? Yeah. All right, hey, why don't you grab a chair and pull it up and, and get your scale and, and we'll, we'll get to working on the bread. Your scale. Okay, <laughs> let's do that bread. Okay, bread is in the oven, baby Firefly is still asleep. He's been taking gloriously long naps this week, which oddly has not even been affecting his sleep at night, which is really fantastic. So he obviously just needs some rest. He must be growing a lot right now, as you guys have all noticed. Okay, so bread is in the oven. I have one more pan of bread, one more tray of bread over here ready to go in when this one comes out. 
So what I'm gonna do now is make some pasta for us all. Um, my kids usually just like cheese on their pasta. I have red sauce also, and I have some leftover Swedish meatball sauce, which I will most likely be putting on my pasta because it is so good. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're doing here. Let's go make some lunch. Okay, so kids are eating lunch, they're eating their pasta. I went to pull the Swedish meatball sauce out of the uh, refrigerator for myself. And I've got this big plate of pasta over here for myself. And so anyways, I was pulling the sauce out and then I realized, wait a minute, I cooked the meatballs in the sauce. So even though there aren't any meatballs still in there, I did cook meatballs in that sauce. So if I eat the sauce now, even though there's not meatballs in it, it still counts as meat and I wouldn't be able to eat cheese or dairy, like I said, my milk for my coffee, till sometime this evening. I'm not gonna drink coffee in the evening because that would be a recipe for disaster. So, I'm just gonna have red sauce <laughs> with cheese like the kids. So anyways, we're all eating lunch right now and, and then we'll dive into our afternoon. I think we're gonna just kinda hang out and rest for a little bit while we wait for baby Firefly to wake up. And then I don't even know what we're gonna dive into, but we will figure it out. So, all right, I'm gonna go eat lunch, chat with you guys in a few. I burned the bread. I burnt half the bread. I pulled it out of the oven, uh, like around lunchtime when we were all sitting around eating and it just like, it didn't quite look right. So I just like flipped it around and stuck it back in because it was still just like, it, it like wasn't, did not look done. <sighs> Even though it had been in long enough and whatever. <sighs> so I totally forgot about it. I set the alarm for two more minutes. And I don't know, I never heard the alarm go off, so maybe I didn't set the alarm properly, or I, I don't know. I ended up going, baby Firefly woke up, I was dealing with him, I was sitting down doing some work on my computer, I was like totally off doing my own thing, completely forgetting about this bread that was still in the oven, so I don't know, it just cooked for an extra like 30 minutes. My husband likes bread cooked longer than I do, so maybe he's going to like this. I don't know though. It's um, it's pretty hard like a rock though. Golly, that is disappointing. It is a lot of work to bake bread, and it's very frustrating to have it not turn out right, and it's especially frustrating to have it not turn out right because of my carelessness <sighs> or busyness, whatever. Um, yeah, but I remember the bread in the oven and like ran in here really fast and like pulled it out. But it's it's bricks. It's bricks. So this one's in, hopefully I will not forget about that because yeah, that would stink. But that's okay. <laughs> Cause it just is, it just is. Because if it's not okay, that's silly because I don't have to let it be not okay. So it's just okay. All right, baby fireflies up. Kids are in the next room playing. They've been doing all the schoolwork. Uh, that they can do without me. Even my kid is not feeling good. Apparently he's not feeling that bad. So, <laughs> so we're just kind of chucking along with our day and that's where we're at right now. Burning bread. <laughs>
Okay, so it still seems really light to me. Yeah. But I'm pulling it out anyways. Because I don't trust myself anymore. So, okay. So I did get three loaves done today. And they're big loaves, but still three, not six. And that does make a big difference. But I do have enough, so that's okay. Oh, you're fussy. You're fussy. Oh, thank you for <laughs> <laughs> He's great, y'all. He's great. Okay. Let's get back on to let's get back on with it. Okay, fun fact about me, I am not really much of an afternoon person. I'm a morning person, which is probably why most of my day in the life videos are like the morning chunk of the day and not so much in the afternoons. Cause the afternoons like, dude, I just want to like take a siesta. <laughs> I don't even really want to sleep. I just want to like chill and relax and like not do anything. So anyways, it is the afternoon now. It's probably like late afternoon. So I am going to go ahead and start thinking about dinner. I have some chicken and I was thinking about maybe doing some Chinese food for dinner. I just saw a lot of ears in the room per cup. Everybody like whoop and looked at yes, me. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. I have a chicken. You guys want it? Yeah. Okay, I will let them here to finish cleaning up their school stuff and I think I'm gonna go get started on dinner. So, let's go do the things. Okay, so I've opted to do one of our super favorite dinners. It is getting on towards dinner right now. And that is gonna be Chinese food, like American Chinese food, like Panda Express at home kind of Chinese food. Okay, so the way that we are going to do this is I have a bunch of pargyotes, which Y'all, I'm honestly not sure what it is in English. This is what happens when you marry an Israeli who loves to cook. You don't know all of the words in English. I think they're chicken thighs. I think they're like boneless chicken thighs. See, there's no bones, so I can't tell for sure, but it's dark meat. So we're going with chicken thighs. Baby Firefly is giving his commentary over there, and I think that is fantastic. Okay. So I've spent the last probably hour cleaning up a ridiculous amount of pargiot because it comes with all kinds of fat and tendons and skin. It was like, ugh, yeah, it was a lot. Anyways, I've got that all cleaned up right now and now I'm gonna make the batter. To make the batter, I'm just gonna be using some gluten-free flour, throwing in a little bit of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder, and then water until I have a nice, fairly liquidy consistency. And then I'll throw the chicken in there, mix that all up together and deep fry it. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I hope I have oil. <laughs> Hopefully I have oil in the pantry. I actually don't think that I do. This could get interesting. Anyways, so while that is being deep fried, I'm gonna have some rice going here on the stove. And then once I'm totally done, I'm just gonna throw it with some sauce. And I have a couple sauces here in the fridge. Okay, so for sauces, I've got this one here, which is a sweet and tangy Beijing sauce from Panda Express. <laughs> and then I have this one from Kikoman. It's an orange sauce. Uh, both of these are gluten-free and kosher, which is fantastic. And this one, we don't love. This one, my whole family absolutely adores. So I'm gonna mix it up with this, but if I end up with too much chicken, then I'll mix it up with this. Sometimes I'll add in something like a baby corn or a water chestnut or something like that if I've got some kind of other random vegetable to mix up. I don't know, I will do that. I don't think I really have anything in the pantry right now though. Uh, might have some baby corn. I don't know, if I do, I might throw that in too. But that's basically it. It's a pretty simple meal, it's super delicious, but it ended up being really, really time intensive today because I had to clean up all of the chicken. And now we gotta deep fry. So, it's about four o'clock right now, I think. It's 4.43, it's 4.43. So, it's time to get to work on dinner. So, let's, um, let's make this batter and, um, fry up some chicken. Okay, 
Okay, so I thought that I was recording me making the batter and I did not. So what I did was probably about two cups of flour, about a half tablespoon of baking powder and maybe a cup and a half or so of water. I added a little bit more flour until I had the consistency of like cake batter. There's a lot of peanut gallery commenting. So there you go, it's like this. Now, literally all I have to do is throw the pieces of chicken into here so they all get coated and just put them into the hot oil and they fry it beautifully. Let's go do that. Okay, I've still got chicken going over here on the stove, but I've got a couple of batches done. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up with some sauce so that I can go ahead and serve the kids their dinner while I finish cooking up the rest of this because there's just a ton of chicken. But I'm making enough that we can have now and that we can have again tomorrow. Okay, friends, and with that, I think we're going to have to call this video a wrap. We have just finished up dinner. I've got a little bit of cleanup to do. Bella is down here helping clean up all the spilled rice that got onto the floor, which is amazing because spilled rice on the floor is like my least favorite thing ever to clean up. Every time I make rice for my kids, I'm like hesitant, like do I even make it? Because I know it's gonna end up on the floor and I'm gonna step in it and it's gonna be really yucky. And then you have to like get down there and like actually pick up each piece because you can't really sweep up rice till the next day and I don't wanna leave it till the next day. Anyways, <laughs> okay, so dinner is over and I need to just clean up the house and go to bed. I think I'm done with today for sure. Um, yeah, one of my kids just uh, ran through the kitchen and knocked over my tripod and broke it. So we're sort of balancing up here, possibly slightly crooked, but um, it's working for the moment, but I have to see if I can either fix it or if I can buy a new one. Fun times. You know what's coming, but that's okay. And it is just towards the end of the day now. It is 6.13. Hey, how about that? And I'm tired. I'm tired. All right. So that's the end of that. I know we've got like a busy day tomorrow, so I want to try to get the kids in bed a little bit earlier tonight than normal, just because I know we've got a lot to do. It's a busy week. It's a busy week. So... All right, and with that, we're gonna seriously call this video a close. So thank you all so much again for being here. As always, I super appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell so that you get all of your notifications. I would absolutely love to see you here again. All right, and with that, we're done. Hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next upload. funny you think it's funny you don't think it's funny but do you think it's funny you think it's funny not you though that's okay okay today i'm really taking you guys along for a pretty typical weekday week day day in the, i can't i can't i can't talk also i'm naming them so that one, th this one, I can't tell. It's like backwards in Michigan. Okay, oh my gosh, I should just really just start over. Yeah, you're laughing at me now, aren't you, buddy? Super appreciate that, and it helps my channel out a lot, dropping things. <laughs> you're so cute.
cute. You are so cute. You are so cute. Gosh, you're really cute.